Hi, I'm Olivia Bassman and I'm participating in the Spanish Arnie Gold International Digital Storytelling Festival. This is my art piece that I've created. I'm currently a student at the University of St Andrews, where I'm studying Spanish and social anthropology. This semester, um, I've been reading Don Quixote by Cervantes. Hence, this piece is inspired by the novel. And essentially, the main thing I wanted to convey here was how beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So, I particularly like the character um, of Don Quixote and Dulcinea. And as you can see, this piece of artwork um, is basically set in the Cueva de Montesinos. Um, and I just, I thought this um, scene in the book was interesting, the way that Don Quixote is having these um, visions, um, because previously, uh, Sancho Panzo had tricked him into thinking that Dulcinea had been put under this evil spell, um, and that she was this kind of not very attractive, you know, peasant girl who smelled of garlic, um, and naturally Don Quixote, in his kind of chivalric conquest to save damsels in distress, um, and, you know, be a chivalric knight, um, he, he obviously wants to get rid of this spell that Dulcinea has been, um, put under, he believes, um, but in the cave, he's actually having these visions, and he's trying to work out what's true and what's not true. Um, and, you know, the real actual version of Dulcinea, as opposed to this peasant girl. So I just wanted to kind of explore the concept of how, exactly as I said, really, you know, beauty's neither the beholder, and how, you know, we can see ourselves in different lights, and others can see ourselves in different lights too, and really, how everything is subjective. Um... So basically, um, I wanted to have um, this portrait of Dulcinea. On one half, I wanted to be really beautiful in a kind of classical beauty um, kind of way with, you know, beautiful flowers in her hair, lovely dress, um, you know, these kind of startling blue eyes. So I wanted to kind of have a kind of, like I said, kind of Greek goddess classical image of beauty. Um, and then the other side, I wanted to show her as the peasant girl, hence um, the garlic in her hair. So I wanted to play just around with this dichotomy. Um, and the cave uh, kind of matches that too, in the way that um, the, the stalactites um, kind of show a more realistic, creepy, kind of less idealised version of a cave, um, as opposed to the one where Dulcinea, or the half of her, which is really beautiful, where it's just black. Um, and... Yeah, and I um, I drew out little um, cartoons of different scenes um, that I particularly like, like the windmill scene or different characters um, that you can see um, yeah, down below. And um, I, I originally, so I painted flowers and then I found these flowers in my garden and I thought, oh, well, you know, that could look really nice. So basically this um, piece of artwork, it's a um, mixed media. So I essentially have used like pen and ink um, acrylic paint and flowers um, and kind of on one side you can actually see on the side where um, you know she's got the garlic in her hair and she's a peasant girl you can see the flowers are more kind of dying so instead of them being in their prime and their youth you know looking beautiful and kind of harmonious and they're dying um, or they're, they're kind of a bit withered and yeah on, on the march to death whereas in the other half of the painting the flowers, you know, are in their prime, or are beautiful, or are dazzling, or, yeah, kind of looking their best. Um, yeah, so, um, I, in terms of, um, I basically wanted to give the, the painting uh, a golden border, because obviously it's, you know, the Spanish golden age. Um, so in terms of the process, I, I started by just measuring the border, um, the golden border, and then obviously the the second border is actually around kind of Dulcinea in the cave. Um, and then I just kind of drew all her portrait out, essentially. Um, then I drew in all the black lines just to kind of make it look neater and tidier. Um, and I started off really with kind of the eyes, the lips and nose. Um, and kind of um, did this piece of artwork kind of expanding. Um, or like expanding from that area. Um, and... Um, I did the shading for the neck at the end once obviously I painted, um, you know, like her face and the different features. Um, and um, obviously I added all the texture at the end um, too. So I'll just show you the painting piece of what we did out with um, from a couple of different um, angles. 
Um, and I have, um, yeah, I have some photos of the, like the process of, of how I did it and just different photos of uh, this piece of artwork really at different stages of uh, development. Um, yeah. Um, so now I can just like, yeah, talk a little bit more about the, the concept. Um, um, yeah, as I said, really, um, I, I mean, like I said, the main theme really is beauty is neither the beholder and really reality versus illusion. Um, because you have this really glorified, idealised version of Dulcinea and then, you know, the reality of her being this kind of peasant girl that smells of garlic and it's garlic in her hair. Um, and yet again, with the flowers, I wanted to play with that, um, that idea. Um, this angle is probably better, really. Um, uh, yeah, and then I was, I was actually originally going to maybe do um, a farm in the background, like the countryside, really. Um, and on the, the half of her face where... Um, she's, you know, the flowers and she's kind of beautiful in a kind of traditional way. I was going to have this really, um, kind of glorified image of, like, pastoral life, um, almost kind of linking to, like, pastoral literature and, like, you know, the kind of romanticization of doing farm work and being on the farm, um, and then on the other half, I was going to obviously have the farm again, but, yeah, again, you know, the reality of it and, you know, the hard work, the mud, the dirt, the kind of, non-glamorized and glorified version of it um but I thought with all the flowers and the greens that it might it might visually and just aesthetically maybe be too kind of brightly colored um and I really basically wanted to kind of have the flowers in her hair and I really wanted the flowers actually to be the kind of focal point so I decided to go with the cave and I also thought you know because he has these visions in the cave really the cave would actually, you know, be the best setting um, for this piece of artwork. Um, I was originally going to also have the, draw more cartoons out and have them um, completely coming up all the border. But then I kind of decorated up the flowers and I thought, you know, they looked, I liked the look more actually, because um, obviously, you know, the side of her face, which is the garlic and where she's a peasant girl, it isn't as bright or as visually kind of um, eye-catching as the other side. So I didn't want one side to be really kind of visually bright, um, kind of eye-catching, and the other just to be very dull and dark. Um, I wanted, you know, a little bit of colour on the other side too, just so it wasn't kind of imbalanced, essentially. Um, yeah, hence why, hence why in the end I didn't go for... Yeah, the, the cartoons or the little kind of drawings all the way up um, the border. Um, and I like the idea of kind of having kind of wilted flowers on one side and then flowers, as I said, kind of in their prime, freshly plucked on the other side. Um, yeah, just to kind of yet again show the dichotomy of like, you know, a romanticised version of something and a non-romanticised version of something. Um, so really, yeah, this painting's also really like painting piece of artwork and um, as I said it is mixed media but really you know you can refer to it as really both <laughs> um I just I wanted it to kind of play around with dichotomy essentially in like several different ways so like the dichotomy of the withered flowers and the kind of freshly plucked flowers the dichotomy of you know the peasant girl versus this idealized kind of goddess like version of Dulcinea and, um, you know, the cave that has a stalactites and is probably creepy and dirty and dark, um, as opposed to just dark and kind of, like, dreamlike, in a sense. Um, so the whole painting kind of plays with different dichotomies, um, and I quite like bright colours, um, and, yeah, like, in terms of art, I probably prefer really colour and design versus, like, um, kind of like life drawing or like kind of um yeah so I kind of wanted to like tap into those skill sets um with kind of color and design which is why I really liked um the part where I got to like place with different flowers and kind of play around with them and see what would look prettiest um so yeah I wanted this painting piece of artwork to be very bright and colorful and um kind of you know draw the audience in but also yeah play with different dichotomies and kind of make a statement about you know the, the image we present to the world um and the way in which we're seen in different lights by different people and you know even maybe to certain extent ourselves um and 
yeah, just as I said, you know, really how beauty is nigh the, the beholder. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for listening and um, I hope you like the painting artwork. Um, and yeah. <laughs>